Welcome everyone in Saturday night. You know what that means? Squad Ops Session 2 got Operation Power Play Part 7. It's the 19th of September, 2020. I am Wilbur. Joining me tonight will be Sergeant Jackson. Say hello, Sergeant Jackson. Hey, everybody. How's it going? So tonight on Power Play Part 7, actually, let me uh, post the op doc first so i don't forget like every other time why is it not posted there we go okay now it posted back to more important business we are going to be getting the canadian armed forces versus militia on manic five turns out this is my favorite map now and i think everyone else can agree on it what about you jackson how, how do you feel about manic five I feel since not necessarily the, re the rework of this map, but since they added on to the additional vegetation, uh, buildings, structures, stuff like that, because when this map first came out, it was very, very flat and just mountains and terrain. And now you got vegetation, all that good stuff. So since the addition of vegetation, buildings, villages, all the other extra stuff that makes these maps unique, yeah, it's definitely up there in my top five. Yeah, it, it, it since they changed it, it's definitely become... A favorite well we don't have an op map for tonight because well it's not able to be in the sdk at this moment but what we do have commands for round one start out with the canadian side dwarf will be in command his two ic is going to be phoenix the rest of his sls will be oddball dicks folks and alpha guido how about militia Militia at command, we got Blackbeard. His uh, two IC is going to be Lawn Darts, so we got double trouble there. And then we got Reggie, Rose, and Razor underneath them. Sweet. It sounds like a pretty formor formidable force on both sides. This is going to be uh, interesting. We're going to go over some specialty rules later on, and you'll understand why it's going to be interesting tonight. So loadouts, starting out with the Canadian Forces, they're going to be getting one SL, two FTLs, which will be riflemen, two ARs, two LATs, two medics, and then across the entire platoon, they'll spread out two hats, two MGs, crewmen as needed, vehicles will get one trans truck, and then they'll get three Logi trucks with 500 ammo and 2K build. For FOB and logistics, they'll be getting one FOB, a mortar, and two HMGs, and various defensive structures that I forgot to put in there. And command support is going to be unavailable for tonight. How about militia? Militia, there is pretty simplistic. On top of each uh, standard SL, he's only going to have two FTLs who have to be riflemen and two ARs. With that being said, and how simplistic that ro loadout is, since they get no vehicles or specialty kits, is there's a catch and the catch to this is there will be 40 minutes of respawning for the militia force so constant wave after wave of attack from the militia onto the uh canadian point yeah i'm just realizing that in the beginning i said a one life event this is not a one life event for <laughs> militia it's a one life event for the canadians they get one try to defend their maple syrup that is it one uno uh and uh some objectives for tonight the canadians are going to start out at maine and then they're going to move to their location which is delta 10 one uh and that's going to be the place that they're going to be securing this hill location and they're going to defend that location until reinforcements arrive or an exfil is ordered about 60 minutes so the op's probably going to be about 60 minutes total at the minimum yeah at, at at the minimum we, we play until it uh until it's over so the canadian armed forces tonight can place ap mines so if the kit is available which oh none of the kits are have ap mines damn it <laughs> damn it <Soon>. one day <laughs> soon if, uh, sdk gets released then we'll yeah. start unleashing more goodies exactly but um, one thing that uh, they are going to do is since we're on a vanilla layer, uh, they got to do a weapons check before live. And they can the sites that they're only going to be able to have is iron and the ET-552, which is a hollow site. Uh, the only kicker is, is those MG positions, there are optics on them. So <laughs> we might be seeing some long distance 50 cal headshots. 
Uh, and then the riflemen are the only ones that are going to be able to, or I'm sorry, not the riflemen, but the FTLs are going to be the only people on the Canadian Armed Forces side that are going to be able to have uh, ammo bags for resupply. And these are going to be resupply counts in vanilla. Hopefully we don't get a grenade spam. That is what I'm, oh, well, or a Latin hat spam. We'll see what happens. Hopefully not. Uh, is there anything? Oh, vehicle stealing is on. I don't think that's really going to play anything because there's no heavy armored vehicles that they're going to want to steal. Unless those militias steal the Canadians' uh, supplies. That's about it. Oh. I, oh, well, no, because it's vanilla, they're not going to be able to use the supplies. If it was the mod, they would be able to use those supplies, I think. Okay. So, Sergeant Jackson, what is Militia doing? I think Militia is going to keep theirs relatively simple because the so the Militia only have some specialty rules with their um, with their rallies, right? So I think they're branching out. They're going to basically surround the point. They're going to get looks like two up to the north, um, three Go ahead, is going to be off to the side, and then they're also going to have one squad, going guys. off to the right flank. They're basically going to surround this, and then. You know where they're allowed to put their rallies in like i believe g10 uh b10 and then up north of the 7 8 grid line and they're just going to surround this get in position place on their rallies and then just go in from there because like i said that the first initial part of this there's going to be you know a plan of attack of or a sequence like everybody attacks at once but after when people start respawning it's just going to be constant pressure just you know keep respawning run back in with a buddy team and go just go 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 and keep putting on the pressure after the in first initial wave so Pretty, pretty self, you know, pretty simple. Surround them, collapse in on them, the, and then you just keep the pressure going. Yeah, the only thing that I can see is from where Canadian forces are, anyone who goes towards the south and southeast is probably going to get spotted. Anyone going to the northwest, west, and then following along to the north probably is not going to get spotted from this position. So whoever's going to G10 is... Definitely, they're, they're going to know that they're there. There's a good chance. I mean, unless they stick to some of the low grounds and use those trees, but there's a good chance with uh, some of the keen eyes of our SLs and commander, they might, yeah, they'll probably spot one of them. There's always that one guy, you know, when you tell them to, hey, stay off the ridge line, stay in the vegetation, you're not trying to be spotted. And there's always that one guy like, ah, I'm fine, and he's the one that's spotted, so. We'll see how well they can conceal themselves while they work around on the uh, from the south to the west to uh, the east side. Yeah, hopefully they can make it. It'd be nice, nice to have them surrounded, especially being able to respawn. So on to Halor. It's a one life for the Canadian Armed Forces who we're following the ones in the blue. I don't uh, red out there. That's the enemy, the militia side. They are going to get a forty minute timer. To actually start respawning people while i'm at it take the thing off the off the mount and throw it on the sandbag <laughs> oh here we are we're live with round one operation power play part seven power plays turning into the rocky series or the rambo series guess the claw is still not happy got some militia forces moving out Looks like, okay. So we got one is the special squad on the other side that's going to move out to the east to that G10 area. And we got th two, four, three in command himself. Blitzing straight north. So I think there's going to be a decent amount of setup time here for the militia before they spring their attack on them. Again, if you see Gregus, just call him up as mortar shot. Holler asks, is there any armor in this scenario? There is not. Not in this one. This one is going to be mainly dependent on some of the support assets that the Canadians have, mainly with their emplacements and their mortars. And I think they get smokes, if I remember correctly. Uh, no command supports. No command supports. Nope. Okay, so they're mainly going to rely on their sandbags, their defensive structures, their emplacements and mortars, and then militia. 
it, the only support or any kind of assets they get is just sheer will and numbers. They get the respawn. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that is that is more than what a yep. armor can do. You ever watch We Were Soldiers? Yep. This is basically the squad ops take of that. Absolutely. It really, it really, really is. That was such a good Mel Gibson movie. Oh, and that's hard to say these days. <laughs> oh, he's got so many good ones. The one thing Mel Gibson can it can film is a military, uh, vi- I wouldn't say violent, but action-packed movie. Definitely violence. Let's look at Braveheart. Oh, I wouldn't even say brave. I'd say patriot. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Yes. Patriot. We won't say what part FYI, if you haven't you seen it. But watch it. There's something if you haven't seen it, I'd almost say if this stream wasn't no so important, usage. you should go watch it right now. But watch yeah. it after. Oh, is there no ammo bag usage? Uh, yeah, according to Vanilla Play. Yeah, like, a bit, I would say, what, like 10, 15 minutes into the movie? Best part, a little ambush, pretty much. Yep. If your FTLs have them, then that should work. Yep, got it. (laughs) That is a theory, Storm. Uh, You probably could... I mean, you got 40 minutes of spawn time, so you could probably throw just bodies upon bodies for, like, the first, like, 15, 20 minutes and then just relax, you know, the last 20 to 35 minutes. Or 25 to 20 minutes. I can't count got my shoes on i can't count right now leave me alone <laughs> i'm just glad we finally have gotten i like this power play series it's finally nice to start adopting some you know using the canadian faction and getting into some other factions than what we've been dealing with so long with the russians and the british and the americans militia and insurgents so it's finally nice to get the canadians and it only only makes my drive uh, or my bloodthirst for new faction use in our ops. And then when I say that, I'm thinking about when those uh, Australian factions get released. All I'm waiting for is the Marines yeah, to get let out. I, was, I suppose. Wait, I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because if you paid attention to some of the images that have come out, the Marines are bringing one of the best... Mm-hmm. Uh, anti-armor missiles i guess you would say oh, missile systems speaking of the uh of the javelin yes that'll be very interesting to see in the game and how that mechanic works have you seen one of those in real life i have not had the opportunity to oh my god setting up top of the hill to the west oh IMG's engaged. It looks Same like they Robert found uh, Ham Dog. Uh, looks like it maybe a little Ham Dog. Of that. Yeah, Ham Dog. Actually, the whole force coming down from the west. Or, they still haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. They, have right they now. still haven't seen anyone down to the southeast, which I thought was going to get. Uh, yeah, I thought that was going to get smoke checked quick. Oh, Josh, he takes some shots. Josh, he. So by the sounds of it, what I'm hearing in the militia command chatter is that they're calling an audible since, or I don't know if they were spotted or what the scenario there was, but four and one are going to start getting aggressive on the point while three and two keep maneuvering around to the north. So they'll start, you know, fainting. This is going to be just a heavy southern attack while they still get another force around to the north. Yeah. Might as well hey, put some pressure on them. Let them focus on two objectives and have, you know, another two move to another objective. Come on, this is two enemy in the 
Uh, I this doubt is... they're gonna do the Apaches. Yeah, that one's a big iffy. Uh, wow, they're getting very aggressive over here in squad one, already getting up onto the hill and pushing them here. They can respawn, of course they're gonna get them trapped. <laughs> they're gonna get aggressive. I would too. Like, hey, get in there. I don't know if Eyeball's gonna be able to get enough defilade to uh, start shooting at Tinkerbell and the rest of squad one coming up. Might be suppressing and that's it. He's gonna be firing over their heads, suppressing his own people. Only one kill for the militia so far. Can't really count the Canadians because uh, they just get to respawn. Yeah, one is down to what, three people now? Yeah, basically oh, two people. super aggressive on the, on the southeast side here, but yeah. Canadian defenses are very strong with that deuce being right there. Have killed four now. But back to the, the javelin. I had a chance overseas to see the javelin in action. If I was on the other side, that is the one thing that I would be afraid of. <laughs> Sitting in armor. We need some that we have contact coming in from the west southwest. Yeah, uh, can't say I'd be uh, too thrilled about it, even in a, me being an Abrams gunner. I know my southeast, limitations south, and safety net with that tank, and it's kind of nullified or when it doesn't hit the front or the side. Yep. When it comes down, it starts becoming problematic. <laughs> We've got some maps in our lines here. Master asks how many Canadians are. There is one team of approximately... How many we got on the Canadian team? One team of approximately 36? Right, yeah. Or 35. Time. You gotta take an account of you and uh, the admin running around. And they only get the one time, the one respawn, so they have to survive these waves of this uh, militia here. He's lost five. So we're down to 31. Some of them are wrapping around toward northwest as well. Oh, this is crazy. One one who got really aggressive on the southeast side has already respawned and now coming in for another attack wave. Both my FLs down, uh, by the way. Uh, oh, eyeball. Good luck, bud. Squad two, uh, both FTLs. As you start losing people, just bring it in tighter and tighter. Dwarf's calling in as you lose people, just bring it in tighter and tighter. By the end, we'll have a so this is actually very smart and interesting. So they're basically <laughs> more or less sending all of the uh, soldiers in each of the squad into the fry frying pan, into the meat grinder, while the SLs sit back from a good distance, not so much cowardly, but being able to command and control their troops, where to shift and allocate and to hit the hill. So it's actually very, very Three, smart four. to keep the leadership up constantly Three, rather than throw them into the grinder themselves. Did they get, did yeah, I mean, that, that's, yeah, from three that's how it usually yeah. is. I mean, you have Copy, some type of command right. element sitting there basically pointing and directing, not really Charlie, firing too much. I mean, when, when I was a fire team lead, if I was doing a lot of shooting, it meant that things were going bad. A couple of times, our, even our platoon commander, or our company commander, had to start uh, engaging his weapon. It's like, oh, that's not good. Well, Keep it up, God. I don't know how, <laughs> no, but I can only assume you bell or benefit too well. Yeah, 
Okay, they good. They did do this. I was wondering, I'm like, the only downside the militia will have majorly out of all this is that they do not get access to any kind of resupply except for the ammo bags of the FTL and that each, I've been flying around each of the rallies for the militia. They have the ammo bag there, which... Yeah, I completely forgot about it. Yeah. Yep. That's going to come down to the SLs being like, hey, only take bullets, no grenades, no rockets, just take the bullets and go. Don't even get Conserve rockets. your so ammo. All get is bullets, yeah. Make your shots count. I completely forgot about that facet. Looks like the militia have tagged oof, 11, if I'm reading this correctly, 11 Canadians so far. This is actually coming out to yeah, be fairly correct. even because the Canadians only have 12 themselves, 12 yeah, confirmed kills. Get some fucking bodies looking out. Yeah, but 12 confirmed kills on people who can re respawn. Yes, sir. Now it looks like we got That's Rose Dragon Squad Close. coming in from the north. Contact are just on the other side of my fucking boulders from. Or correction, the yeah, the oh. northeast one coming in for their counterattack again, and three, two, four, all coming in from the west and to the north. So really tightening down the noose here. Like Silent and Frost have gotten pretty close up here on the west. Yep, rip a dukin. Hey, command, north is broken, north is that, broken. That's uh, the west side. They're starting copy, to clear copy. those trenches and pull her in. About half the Canadian forces have been taken out. I'm surprised I don't see more, like, actual, like, bunkers, like... Because like Dorf said, as you start losing guys, falling back in, well, it'd be, it'd bode well for them to have a static fallback defensive position. So, you know, sandbag bunker, something to fall back. But the only thing I really see them falling back to is just more terrain, which there is definitely plenty of. But I don't think Silent. it's helping yeah. them out too much there where Silent and, uh, well, Frost was pushing from Frost. Unfortunately, got taken out by Abu Hajar. Oh, we got another... Strong push coming in from the north. Yeah, from the east. now they're gonna start getting crossfire here in these trenches. It's gonna get bad real quick. This might be quick. Oh, down goes to a direct grenade hit. Yikes. So there's not so much a grenade spam, but as they save their grenades for the close, qu close quarters. Oh. Yeah, we gotta think this is also vanilla damage damage values so grenades i think are a little bit more dangerous and that's true oh dick's folks group's about to get chopped up really hard grouped up here in the trench don't get shot get shot again and os goes down they're just, they're just getting they're just getting ate up yikes these grenades yeah grenades spam again I don't even think they think it's grenade span. Everybody's just saving their grenades to actually getting up on the point ah, to clear these trenches out. Yeah. Because I heard that part of the brief is gentlemen Wait. use the ammo for the for the bullets and not Come so much for the grenades. The so guys, north, it's just west, a west. few of my guys left. I know, it's only five, four or five. Oh, they have confirmed they're on the radio now, getting confirmation from Blackbeard to dig it. Uh, radio's underneath the map, oh, so they're not yeah. going to get... Rapid, Any digging. No. I was going to say, unless they're going to start digging through the map to get down to it. Down to so much here. It. Three Canadian forces. Can, looks like Dorf's about to get schwacked here. He's surrounded. Yep. Reggie comes in. Oh, but he trades with him. It's down to just Hedda. Didn't even have time to pull last man up. Wow. That was really quick. I think that was like a 20 minute op. Oh, wow. Allowed him to get in too close. And then once that happened, it just yeah. chaos ensued. That was a quick one. It's only 930 Eastern Standard. <laughs> and we're getting GG. For uh, round one of Operation Power Play Part 7, we're going to take like a quick five, four to five minute break. And we will be back with round two. 
they light that and they put it down and then I'm standing only like 50 feet from it and these guys are like whoa you need to get back farther and I did there you know a minute later the loudest boom I've ever heard just echo through all the woods in the surrounding area I'm pretty sure I still did some eardrum damage to me to this day oh but. yeah and here we go we're live with round two is all of militia is going west and northwest to do this western blood of a push lawn darts is, or not lawn darts blackbeards got his platoon set up kind of at a line going southeast and northwest and make sure your teams know to call targets as early as possible and we'll start dropping mortar rounds on them it does have some forces to the northwest that are hidden that could possibly wrap around this western push and we got an event admin announcement stick around after round two we're going to go into round three I sat underneath a fireworks display once. I will never do that again. I was covered in ash, Xbit. Completely and totally covered. And it smelled horrible. Worse than a campfire, like the day after when you go to, you know, put your clothes into the wash because they smell like smoke. Ugh. Ugh. Like the gunpowder no, smoke from the fireworks. In the south, oh, uh, it was just it, it was just north north disgusting. I, I, it, the horn or not? It, it's burnt metal. Ugh. Horrible sound. That's why I hate welding. It's the same smell. I can't stand it. The gunpowder smell when I go to the range. But no, that yeah. I love. Yeah, that's always good. Cordite is the greatest smell in the world. I guess it's really paid attention too much to the smell of fireworks well whenever i go to a bonfire and i get that smoky bonfire smell i like say a sweatshirt that i'm wearing that night that sweatshirt won't get washed for like two weeks oh just keep the oh like what like good oh or bad oh oh bad oh you don't I, like the campfire smell oh uh, i i I hate the smell. Like I even hate the smell uh, of no, cigarettes. Like when I'm driving down the road, yeah, like and I smell that, it makes me want to throw up. Remember, he's, he's free to move within the gray circle. I'd like it if cigarettes are so on. much different compared um, to like a campfire. Like that smell of burning wood. Of that wood like that. Gold if it's a campfire. certain, if it's a certain wood, most people yeah. use like whatever they got. And I had someone try to start a campfire with dogwood once. Uh, yeah, Oh, if you think dogwoods smell bad when they're blooming, when you burn one, it is the worst smell ever. Isn't that basically like a rotten, like a fungus kind of? Yes. Like fungal. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine that smell too great. It probably smell like burning wet dog. It's, oh, oh. what's going on, Sonny? How you doing tonight? Why aren't you in this op plane? That's my question. I haven't seen you in an op in a while. Calling you out. This militia set up here where they're on the side of this ridge slowly ever so cresting before they just call bonsai and run down the hill i think that's happening that's exactly what's happening right now come on do you have uh smoke yep it's like a good old classic classic like whatever century like romans oh, running through the woods place. down the hillside right. towards the athenians that's what I'm getting right now. The feeling of them as they run through this woods down towards the point. Opening scene of Gladiator. Yep. Dead on. <laughs> I hope they don't get taken out quickly. I hope they make it Did close. Did we even in that direction? 
Who's over here looking from the point towards them? Anybody? Uh, you got Ham Dog, Joshy, non power, third power. <laughs> God, it's just a sea of red. They're so clumped together. A mortar could destroy this. I feel like he didn't really opt to push out any farther than what uh, what Dorf did in the first round. I mean, you you really can't save it. And then he's the one that's probably going to be. He's. Oh my God, he's on the northwest side. Oh, here we go. Oh, and people are dropping. Already got one kill. Bravo 10 3, please. And here comes yeah, mortars. Hold up, Bravo oh, 10 3. Watch these mortars here. This is going to be good. Oh. That right shot here. out. MG set up watching the road north. They have to be able to cover the road. Orders are being up by on the west side. They're gonna say. Oh, looks like uh militia said for her. They're gonna need those respawns. Oh, I just saw oh, mortars out. I've ever seen in squad ups was a group of militia holding a hill while the other half is running down. Shooting a hail of bullets at another hill, while that hill that they're shooting at is returning yeah, yeah, with a hail of bullets. Got a foothold on the west. I'm pretty sure Michael Bay in this op today. We've got contacts. Charlie this looks 10, like so much fun. 10, 3, 9, I wish I was in this op. Uh, too bad these mortars are only about mm, 20 seconds too late and yep. well behind the force moving in. Ah, Sonny, we're going round three, bud. At least round three, maybe round four. Here come the grenades and the close quarter combat from the militia. Got yeah, people already spawning in from Maine. Dorf is leading the attack, running through the trenches. He, wa he wants blood from last round. Fifth eyeball. Let's just, just pushing through. Not even stopping, not even slowing down, just going through it. Awesome. If I was in this game right now or in any of the SLs or in the command, uh, in the command chatter for the Canadians, I'd be screaming broken arrow. Yep. <laughs> Fortunately, it looks like all the militia are generally getting cleaned out from that hard push. But with that being said, that whole western side completely nullified there's no canadians on the western side of that hill and militia were able to get 11 on that push turn the wire just what you got two try and send some guys up to the position if you can 
Just when you think it's over, you see a whole sea of red coming in over yep, the hill. Coming back, <laughs> coming back from respawn. This is cool. I think this is actually going to work. Like, I think this is actually going to work out this way. This is neat. Okay, they must have gone for mass assault. Stand by. So it's round five. Squad four Shoot. Of I don't think anybody <laughs> but object, object to it, at least. Squad four yeah. seven of Why not? Nine. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it until we you fall asleep. If you hear me snoring, position. you know yeah, that... She... <laughs> Wil Wilbur's past his yeah, bedtime. I see you moved to the third right, car back on these contact. mortars. I gotta give the man credit for it at least because if you think about it, most of these, any of these ops you see with the mortar that are not on Manic 5 are trying to have the assistance of whoever the mortar, mortar tier, whatever you would call his position or his title, it has the assistance of a mortar calc. Mortar yeah, calc yeah. that uh, people use well. does not have Manic 5 yet released to it. So uh, this man is doing this all vintagely through his head, his own calculations through elevation and distance and mills. So I'll give the man some cred. Wow. He's, you know, he's it was pretty on late. point. But as far as where the push was coming from and where he needs to land those are good. He just needs to be directed to start swinging them farther to the east now. That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, if you can, I mean, yeah, and we can't place markers. Usually in vanilla, it's easy because you can just place a marker on direction. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, poor Abu Hajar here, coming down the side of that hill by himself, right, and that put to an back. end really, really quick. Don't try and go and get out uh oh, and ooh, who's who that one out? Oh my good, Phoenix They're took a lad to the face right on the uh, counterattack here. Copy that. And here comes the militia. Oh, there they are. Too. Here come the smokes. Go I'm team. waiting for the cover fire. I'd be screaming at a fire team to start putting out a hail of gunfire at that hill. Oh, silver. Direct out with another. Flat. Oh, man. It's got to be. It's got to be Bartok on that other side. Bartok or Renegade Texan? One of the two. Another lad shot takes someone down. Again, do you, yeah, I think they're in the west ravine. All right, copy that. Three and four, deal with the contacts in the south. Two, try and uh, move some boys up onto the, this hill. Order's coming go. out. See where they're so, landing. Yeah, deal with whatever the fuck's coming in these ravines. And still hitting where they were, not where they're going. But. Yeah, very interesting. So last time they hit the uh, west side extremely tough. Yeah, like Here they come up on the southwest, southwest side now south. where the remainder yeah, of the Canadians are holding out. And they're getting close. Sorry, they're up to the wire up and now me. working up their way to the rocks. I don't want you moving on yeah, but that's a yeah, tough to uphill battle. So, uh, yeah, just come to me. Command, my guys are in contact direct south of you. Cross the river. It's a uphill uphill Join battle. South. If they had the proper amount of eyes and people uh, yeah. look in that that's direction. Reggie goes down. Oh my gosh, Magic tries to run away. Nope. It was the wrong time to turn. Oh, there's a Bartok. Yeah, let's see what uh, the famous Latitier can do himself up. Oh, spoke too soon, I jinxed him. Yep. He spoke uh, his name. Him. Speak thy name so they shall die. Alright, if they're coming through Command. the south, start up. Uh, can you start dropping mortars uh, to Delta 10, uh, 11, 7, I need a meet in return into side. here, right next to where Bartok's yeah, on down. Fast, Delta Delta we can win this fight with Pakalamas. Uh, it looks like they transitioned from coming from the southwest to the south. They have guys on the point. Guys on the wire. Uh, Lime are going to need to get on the point now. 
down and um, yeah, help out. Cap. Silent. Uh, picking people off as they poke their heads out. Yeah, that was Dorothy just beamed right there in the head. And here they come in, like a pack of angry bees swarming in towards the hab again. Silent is such a good shot at AR. He really is. Just really impressed Man, with this militia do, sweeping in here and their yeah, what do you get quickness and their awareness and as long as their accuracy to be able to Don't clear know. out the all these side, little murder holes where all these Canadians are hiding. Uh, that. Great effectiveness, that too, too. effectiveness as well. Yeah, they've got 25 kills now. Um, See what Silent's able to do here. He's not even looking oh, at him, unfortunately. Oh, now he is. See what happens. Someone fired. That's one. That's two. Three. Oh uh, no. How many he, how many did he end up with? Uh, three right there. Oh wow, he ended up with eight kills. Overall I knew it was a lot more, yeah. but in that single engagement definitely cleaned him out. He's he's deadly with that AR. What the heck? Fisco is somehow getting way up north towards don't and who else is up here? He got, he got up to the, he got up to the uh, mortars really and cleared sure. out the mortars. And Don uh, had to go and one, avenge the mortars. Yeah, good. Two, you got comms. Looks like we got Tank, Melchik, right, cool. up here to the north over Three, on the east side. Um, we got Don, right, Blackbeard, try and, try and on the west. Get you guys using and then we got a few other stragglers. Anybody, any of the uh, Canadians that were on the north side uh, of the road coming. here, trying to filter back into this point. Looks like Canada's gonna have to uh, take this point back. With the sea of red coming out of Maine again. Hey, Command, what was that last message? I gonna... Come on, Mike, First time, down, didn't succeed. Second time, point. pretty close. Third time, that's definitely gonna be the charm here. Possible. Just taking over that 50 cal position, focusing on the east northeast. I should say east southeast. <laughs> I see that now. Don't get shot using his resources around him. Not really getting after anybody, but well, what the hell? Let's waste some Canadian ammo while we sit here. Don't forget, stick around. We are going to have a round three. Source redemption. Redemption. Thirty-three kills for a militia now. Don't get the. Uh... Don't get shot here taking some pops at Blackbeard trying to come back up onto the point here. Yeah, down to four Canadian forces. Oh, and don't oh, get oh, shot. Three. Get domed from Blackbeard. Ooh. And yikes, the rest of militia swarming down through the valley from one hill coming up to the next onto the point. Good luck, Blackbeard and Cosmo. The whole drop down tactic didn't work that time. Blackbeard is was waiting for it. <laughs> He's in the zone.
Blackbeard effectively surrounded. Guzmo in the same pickle. Oh, tags don't get shot. Takes them out. Time to Kuzmo. Show me what you got. Still waiting for a 1v a whole other enemy team. Today might be the day. We'll see. Guzmo with about 80% in health. I have faith. You never know. Never know. And now we know. Now we, yeah, now we know. <laughs> So that's round two of Operation Power Play Part 7. We're going to take another quick break, and we're going to be coming back with round three. All I want, I want a C-130. <laughs> and you know where I'm going with this. I want, can, I want spooky. I want spooky. We can cross our fingers. Maybe it'll be a commander asset. I want artillery. Two and, uh, I want the Mark 9, or not the Mark 19, but the 20 like millimeter gun. I want the 105, uh, and I want the Gauss rifle. Close. All it mounted on a C-130. A-10 is cool and all, but man, <laughs> on in that C-130, it's that's yeah. You know what they should add. And I'll let you and I'll let you in a little secret about these tanks since everybody downplays tanks like, oh, I'll just get in my helicopter or my jet or something and blow you up. A little hidden known factor about some of the ammunition that tanks use. And before you're like, whoa, that have got to be classified. You're going to know what kind of rounds. Trust me, it's fine. There's a special round called a impact round southwest. that the, the Abrams that uses out of its 120 millimeter cannon. Um, it's called impact round. Basically, it sounds like it has you hit the target, it blows up. It's basically yeah, like HE, it's just a huge boom, right? There's a special sensor on the top of it where you switch the cone and it becomes, uh, oh, what's the term? Radar? I don't want to say radar. It, come, it becomes sensory. So uh, as if you were shooting at a helicopter flying through the air and you turn Charlie, that little arming switch on that cone me, and you shoot around through the air, Bravo it goes out, it sends out a button. It's basically like sonar. It sends out pings. And then as soon as it gets within range of something, like a helicopter flying in the air, they might be it blows up and it sends a ton of shrapnel into it and takes it out of the sky. Ooh. So I think with these helicopters and everything, I mean, you would say that a lot of people are accurate shots with those tanks taking down helicopters and stuff, but I don't know. I think it would be a great little asset to add to the Abrams and to the T... I don't know if T-72s have that, but to the Abrams. So that's what they are generally designed for, what they are mainly used for, like... When we were fighting in Afghanistan, not a whole lot of flat terrain, but when tanks were called in, they would take that arm, that impact round, arm that me uh, that proximity mechanism, and they would like shoot down like a cave or a hole, right? And it would go down that cave, and it would send. Well, sorry for that. I don't know what happened, but every I just lost everything, and we are back. Loading back in. I'm going to try to get back onto that Canadian Forces. Jackson, what is going on? <laughs> uh, things happen, hiccups ensue, but so far, it uh, looks like we're getting two and three, really getting close. They're just starting to assault the position from the north, while it looks like four and one are just sitting there hammering them from the west and from the southwest across the road. So two and three are right on the doorstep, right on the other side of the road to the north, and we're about to see militia fly up onto this hill like the floodgates have been opened. Yeah, they're really close. Oh, I'm right setting everything up. I'll let you all get on the command comms. Right <laughs> yeah, if once you get to floating around, we got Blackbeard up here on the side of the hill. Very, I mean, very well bravely manning his uh, Dishkateki and just spraying down over like the course right of 300 meters at the point. It's a very iconic BB thing to be watching right now. They're coming in fast between. All uh, right, two and and flying in fast, over. trying to get back into the game. Perfect timing. We yep. have Bartok, D, Lon, 
Silver, all the militia swarming up on the north side here. That's strange. I got like no spikes. All of a sudden, he just went out. Command's coming down. Oh, command's down. Oh, wow. This is a good push. Ow. Unfortunately, Raptor Force, who is in the 2IC, is also dead. It is a very, very good push indeed. Very Great aggressive. Okay. I like how Blackbeard is very bravely rolling up his dish so closer, is which is already no smoking to so, hammer the point even more. Oh, I missed the Dishka. Here to the southwest, just on the other side of the cobblestone fence. <laughs> Hearing those loud duds nail the right. side of the hill. From the north, northeast as well. What did you get, I guess? And I think he has used up the Dishka. My nope, west side is still there. We're, uh, there's contacts inside the wire of the west. We're holding as best we can, though. Too much action for my computer. I'm just gonna have to upgrade. That's All it. Right. You're, well, this is what happens when your computer gets just as happy as we are about tonight's events. Exactly. The outcome of all the <laughs> all the action we were seeing. North, it just couldn't handle it anymore. Understood. I'm just gonna have to buy a 3090 now. Justified. Yeah, if they ever we get available well before here, they get uh, bought out at the second they release. I'm West probably going to opt into the 3080. I'm not upgrading. I'm just kidding. I don't know what happened. Like, like Discord the the West died, canceled uh, itself. Can't, can't, OBS canceled itself. It like Squad canceled itself. The, uh, the I don't know what happened. Sounds like a good old computer just having a, a brain fart moment. You got a killer man time in the chat playing Geek Squad for you. Oh. <laughs> Dude can take it over. I don't want to reinstall Windows again. I probably I probably really need to. These Windows updates are... Every time I have a window update, it seems like I have a problem with Windows. And that is why I labeled my squad Get Me Bill Gates. Someone get him on the phone. <laughs> get him on the horn for me. They have pushed past me. Past me. Let's get out of my position. It's funny saying that because I forget this is Dorf's so-called redemption uh, to see his defense plan. And if you look over on the east side where he... Uh, where they got overran from the first time. All just a sea of barbed wire. Nobody's getting through on the east side so too bad they opted to take the north and the west side completely rendering those all that barbed wire that they have so precisely have laid down useless unfortunately or door alamo at the trench network close quote so eyeballs calling alamo into the trenches let's go close quarters yeah, Bartok right here on top of this rock, right next to Oddball. Like, I didn't even notice him up there, and he's just chilling. Bartok's being a Bartok. But does he have a lat? He has no lat. The militia, unfortunately, do not bless Bartok with a rocket. Yeah, he's still good with a gun. He is very, very good with a gun. Yeah. Nope. There goes Oddball. And command comms. Plus McGruffs. Oh. Speaking of fearless leaders, Blackbeard right up here on the front doorstep with Duncanstein and Bartok, Kuzmo, G. Adams leading the way. I think it's down to oh, no. seven. Blackbeard escaping death, barely. Uh oh, Bartok getting ran up on by Quantum. Yeah, it looks like I got seven Canadian forces left. 
Maybe we can't do three rounds. Maybe uh, my computer can only handle two. <laughs> A lot of fire going out here on the oh, north side. Oh my god, sneaky, sneaky dicks folk sitting over here in the tiniest of corner took out militia command <laughs> that is oh. a rabbit hole to lay in right there what i didn't even know wait wait oh, wait no, I survived that. where is he he is like under the rock oh okay into <laughs> wait you can crawl literally wait hole. No, you can't crawl through the rock. Okay, never mind. That was a. I don't know how far he can go down there? You can, you can see, you can through, see it. through it. Yeah. Huh. Oh my God! He let G Adams go in front of him. Did not take out G Adams. Now he did. Uh oh. Oh, he took one with him. Yes. Just me and you, bro. Who we got left? We got Quantum To. But now they got a whole sea of red coming up on the north side, right behind them. It's just quantum quantum and it looks like to 42 now it's to 42. 42 last man inside the hab i believe in you to uh oh frost going for the glory oh frost not going for glory magic hands it off oh to magic. no That's and that looks like it's a another GG for round three of Operation Power Play Part Seven. We're gonna be calling that one tonight. Wow! Wish I didn't disconnect so I could have seen the uh, the opening of this. Damn! Oh well. <laughs>